Nigeria, we have over 250 known languages and our official languages are English and French. How stupid. It's in Dembele. I love the sound of that. Jeez. Hello guys and welcome back. So I think it's been almost uh, three years since I found myself explaining why I could speak the English language because some of my friends who were not Africans found it difficult to understand that we have English as our official language. I understand that when you speak a language like English, French or Spanish, I don't know, maybe Chinese now, it's easier for you to communicate effectively with people from different parts of the world, but it also has consequences because you get to lose your own identity. You get to lose a part of who you are and uh, that kind of sucks, you know, that kind of sucks real bad. And so lately I've taken interest in some African countries that have retained native languages as their official language and we're going to look at seven of such countries and we're going to see if we are making any real uh, progress when it comes to preserving what is African or maybe not you know I know there are way more countries than the seven I have listed but I single these ones out because they kind of have native languages as their first official language right and there are some other countries that have you know all the languages in addition to native languages so maybe it's arabic as the official language or maybe it's english or french but then they also have a little bit of kiswahili you know somewhere you know that has account for something but i wanted to pick out countries that had uh, native languages you know like as a real thing you know that's the main deal all right so top of the list is ethiopia and i think that is very obvious because they're about the only african country that were never really you know technically uh, colonized they resisted colonization longer than every african country and they have amharic as their official language and next is eritrea their next door neighbor and the speaker tigrinia as their official language and recently i've come to fall in love with the country botswana and their official language is setswana i mean there are people in this country who speak other languages, of course, because I have an Ethiopian friend and I have a friend in Botswana and they all speak very good English, yeah? So as far as communication within the country is concerned, you know, now we're talking official government documentation and all those kinds of stuff and, you know, official correspondences. You want to be able to turn on news channel and it's a native language communicating uh, government policies to everybody. You know, that makes a whole lot of difference because I'm sure there are countries where we have government policies in English and you still have to go break it down to uh, several native languages just so people can understand because technically a lot of the people do not understand English yeah well blame nigeria we have over 250 known languages and that's kind of crazy because our official languages are english and french how stupid so back to botswana their official language is seswana lesotho have sesotho as their official language and in somalia they speak somali how beautiful is that you know in tanzania and kenya they speak kiswahili and this is a very interesting one because kiswahili is becoming about the most widely spoken african language of all times the eastern african bloc have adopted kiswahili as their official language and two years ago we saw the southern bloc also adopts uh, Kiswahili as one of their official languages you know and this is a language that is spoken across uh, eastern southern and part of central africa so you know it holds real great potential and that is one language all africans should study because that's one thing that uh, should kind of bind us uh, together you know we should be able to communicate you know in a unique african language as it's against having most africans learn to speak english french portuguese chinese or something else you know that kind of sucks and finally i'd like to uh, look at south africa again you know because so what's unique about south africa is that unlike most african countries that have two three official languages where there is usually English or French or both 
and then maybe uh, one native language south africa has 11 official languages and these includes you know all the major uh, local dialects that are spoken you know there is a uh, isi zulu there is isi kosa there is a sotho and there is isi dembele isi dembele i love the sound of that jeez i should go to south africa someday you know so and of course alongside a host of uh, all the south african languages you know 11 in all you know and of course there is english somewhere in there and afrikaans but everybody gets to be comfortable speaking the language that they love you know so what do you think about this what country do you come from let's talk about this in the comment section what are the native languages you have in your country and do you have any native languages as official language you know is your country thinking of uh, changing the lingua franca maybe adopting one of the uh, local dialects as, as a lingua franca is that something you think uh, would enhance cultural integration in your uh, country or is that something you think we should uh, do away with totally and let's all just speak english you know and become you know brave englishmen and women so let's talk about this in the comment section yeah so that's where i'm going comment section see you there let's talk guys let's talk